Hello everyone, my name is Veer and this is the second part of Selenium WebDriver architecture series. So let's get started. So in this video, we are going to see more Selenium commands, uh, how that internally works in Selenium WebDriver API. So first up, we will see how we can find an element, how that particular thing internally works, how same keys internally works, uh, how maximizing browser window. Uh, that command works internally then how you can get the title of window okay then we will see how you can clear the text box and you know how you can click on a particular element so these commands we will see in this particular video and how the api call for this happens okay behind the scenes okay so quickly what i'll do i will quickly flip over to my postman and then we can start off so for this particular demonstration i am using uh, admin dash demo dot commerce dot com uh, website and the, the login page of this particular website basically. And what we'll try to do, we'll try to interact with this email, password, and login button, and also we'll try to find uh, find out the title of this particular uh, uh, website. Okay. So uh, for ready reference, what I have done, I'll I'll, I'll show you the command and explain you each and every. Or post request for that. So uh, in the last video, we had seen how you can create a session. So again, we'll do the same thing. So first of all, I'll create a session because we wanted to operate on session, right? So we had we now had a session. Okay? So we had a Chrome browser opened uh, with this particular session. Right? So I will. Copy this particular session ID and I'll keep it in Notepad because it is required for me to you know uh, reference. So I'll just copy the session ID. I'll just delete any of the stuff that I'd copied. Okay. So this is the first thing. And the next thing what we wanted to do is we wanted to navigate on navigate to a particular URL, you know, that is nothing but admin.nookcommerce.com. So, again, you know, for this, we what we require a session ID. I will quickly put that particular session control. So, I'll just, I'll just copy that particular session again and paste it over here. Okay. So, what we'll do, I'll just Execute this command and let's see whether we are uh, able to open that website or not. So, so if you could see, right, a uh, website for admin demo dot commerce dot com has been opened. A login page for that particular website is open. Okay. Now the actual part that we are going to see in this particular video is, you know, how you can find a element on using this particular API basically, or how internally it finds an element. Okay. So first option is you can find the element using by name attribute and you have to pass uh, by how you wanted to find element and what value you wanted to looking for. Okay, so here if you could see I'm doing the same thing. I, I'm using the session and on that session what I'm trying to do I'm trying to find the element. So slash element and the request body. Request body says using name and a value for a name. Okay, so if I try to hit this particular thing right and if i execute this particular command you could see invalid selector and it gives no such element unable to look at element with css selector or select name q okay so it is not able to find an element and the same thing happens when you know you are unable to find the element by a particular locator strategy that you are using okay, so it, it comes from this particular thing uh, uh, response basically okay so this uh, this uh, this uh, request is valid but selenium is not able to find a element which is having name q okay on this particular page okay, that's why it returned as a bad request with a error or a message saying that no such element unable to find the element with this particular uh, locator okay so uh, this is the one way you can find the element is using by name. Okay, now next way is to find uh, that we can do right. 
uh, by using the x parts okay let's try to do that so again what i'll do i'll just try to use the existing session that well we had copied and i'll just paste it over here and we'll try to fit so if you could see right it has returned the it has given a 200 status and it has returned you an element id okay so i'll just for ready reference you know i'll copy this because these are you know required for our subsequent request so i'll just keep it handy copied in our notepad file okay so this is the email id here we have used xpath now let's try to find out element using the id so so the uh, request remains the same so the url basically and the body you have to pass using id and what value you wanted to have for an id so that you have to pass over so again i'll just use this particular session id and let's try to execute this command So if you could see over here, right, it has written you an ID. So that means we are able to successfully find out a password using this ID. Okay. So I'll again copy this particular value for ready reference. Because these values are required for our subsequent API request. I'll copy over here. And what we will do, we will perform a like find element using the CSS selector. Okay. So here if you could see using CSS selector and the CSS selector value of the pass. Okay. The uh, you know the URL pattern for post request remains the same. It's a bit slow. So that's why you know I'm not able to type certain things right now. It, uh, I think it should work. Yeah, it has returned you an ID. So I'll again copy this and I'll keep it for ready reference for our next steps. Okay. Okay, sorry for that voice. Okay, now let's move on to the next part. Now we uh, have a session and we are, are able to find out each and every element that is present on the page. Now let's try to interact with that particular element. Okay, let's say you wanted to, you know, clear a text box. Okay, uh, so for that the command looks like this, or the, the URL will be formed like this. What you have to do, you have to give the base URL, then session, then the session ID, then element, then element ID, and what action you wanted to perform. Okay. So that's why you know I have copied these particular values for you know because these are needed for our subsequent request. So this is the first thing session and the next thing is the element ID. So let's say I wanted to clear this particular text box or email text box. Okay. Okay, now let's save and uh, first of all, let's see. You know, we have any value. So if you could see, it has admin dot your store dot com as value. And let's try to execute. So if you could see, right, it has cleared out that particular text box. Okay. Now try to do same operation on other element as well which is nothing but our password just rename it to password okay. 
and again we have to just change the session id uh, not the session id the element id here the request remains the same just we have to no, set the session id This much part. I had copied the entire thing, so I'll just this much. Now, if I hit this right, it will clear out the password field as well. So, if you could see, we are able to achieve the both the things like clearing out the text box. Okay, now let's move on to the next part. You wanted to enter a text, right? So, let's say you wanted to enter an email. Okay, then how this command will look? Okay, so first thing. As you have to pass the session and the element and you wanted to value right you wanted to type right so it will be value and in body you have to pass the text and what text you wanted to pass or what text we wanted to set to an um, text box okay so I'll do what I'll do I'll just Let's just copy this session ID first. Okay, then what we have to do, we have to say element, then element ID. So you want to do enter the uh, email, right? So I'll just copy this and it goes here slash value. And I'll save this and let's try to find out whether we are able to enter the text or not. So if you could see it has written me 200 status code. Now let's see on the text box whether see if you could see over here we are able to type the content. Okay. Now let's try to you know uh, enter the password as well. Okay. So again, what I'll do, I'll just copy the session. And then let's say element slash element ID is nothing but password. This one and then value. Okay. And the text part we wanted to set is this. So I'll just execute this again. So if we could see now we had typed the text in a password text box as well. Now let's see we wanted to click on the element, right? So for that, what we have to do again, we have to use the session. And in this session ID, I'll just add those part. Then element slash the element ID is nothing but this sign in button. Okay. Then what we wanted to do is we have to click. So that will be our last in the path parameter. And if you hit on same right. You could see it has clicked on the button and you, you had seen a message that login was successful because we don't have we don't enter the valid credentials over here. Okay. So this is the click part. Okay. Now let's how you can maximize the window. So this is quite simple. Uh, for maximize you need only session. Okay, and you have to pass the 
path parameter as a window slash maximize so it will maximize your browser so i'll just quickly do that so if you could see that now browser window has been maximized okay now let's try to find the title okay so how you can find the title it is quite simply easy okay so what you have to do I'll, for ready reference what i'll do i'll just duplicate this particular request because we, we we wanted to you know work on the session part only okay we don't need any other information so i'll just go to this particular thing i'll just rename it to title get title let's say and the last part we need to change instead of this what you need is slash title so, and if you it it will return you the title of the window oh so it's not a post request sorry my bad it's not a post request it's a get request so if you could see your store login the title of this particular page okay so we had covered what we wanted to cover in this particular video okay thanks uh, so let me just quickly go to the slides